I'm going to find a free background from the Unit Asset Store and add it here. First, I'm going to create a new project just for importing. LWRP and put it into whatever folder you want. I'll call it import background create. Once you're done creating a project, I'm going to create a new scene. Start with a clean slate. I'm going to go into the Unity Asset Store, Environments, and I want a free environment. I'm going to use this asset, RPG FPS Game Assets for PC and mobile. Make sure you're logged in. And I'm going to open in Unity. So here's the asset. I'm going to import everything. Import all. Once you're done importing, I'm going to find a scene. Map V1. Okay, here it is. We have to convert everything to LWRP material. We go to Edit, Render Pipeline, Upgrade all the project materials to LWRP. Proceed. I'm going to get rid of the fog. Can't see anything. And looks like there's something wrong with our material. Everything is black, as you can see here. I'm going to turn it white. Turn off baked lighting. And I guess. I just have to go through everything and change the color for each of the materials. There aren't that many, so I think I can do it. Just make sure that the texture is not completely black. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, I'm going to turn this entire map into a prefab inside this folder. Just drag it in there. Now we have a prefab of an environment. I'm going to export this. Export package. All. I'm going to put it in my desktop. Put it wherever you want. Map V1. And once you're done exporting, I'm going to go back to our project and then import it. Import package. Custom package. Find the package and import everything all import. We should now see the folder that we just imported and the prefab. I'm going to drag in the prefab and I'm just going to place it however I like.
Okay, that looks about right. Let me get rid of the AIs for now. Just delete them. I'm going to make sure that everything is static in our new environment, except the nav mesh baking. Make sure this is off so you don't bake the environment for nav mesh agents. And I also want to remove all the colliders from the environment. There's way too many for me to do this by hand. So I'm going to create a simple code. I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call it Collider Remover. Create a new C Sharp script. Collider Remover. Go in there. Namespace Brown Bear Games. And I'll create a public function called remove all colliders. And I want to get the list of all the colliders from this game object. Get everything from the children, all the colliders. And once you find all of the colliders, you go through every single one of them and destroy immediately. I'm going to go back to Unity and add the script to our environment prefab collider remover. Now I'm going to create a button to access the function. I'll create a new folder. Editor and a new script will be called Collider Remover Editor. Again, namespace Round Bear Games. And for this, we're going to use a custom editor. All the custom editor scripts has to be in the editor folder, and we'll be using the Unity Editor. Inherit from the editor class. In this class will be a custom editor for the collider remover. We're going to use a function called on inspector GUI. Draw the default inspector and create a button. I think it's GUI layout button remove all colliders. We need to find the remover class. For that, we'll use target to get that class. And we'll simply call the function remove all colliders. Make sure you save. And I'm going to go back to the editor. And now we have the button here. If I press it, the code will remove all the colliders from the prefab. Okay. Looks like all the colliders are gone. And if I play, the game's going to work exactly as before. Okay. Looks like we have some dust particles. I don't like that. I'm going to turn them off. Okay, and looks like the game is working fine. Now everything is gray and kind of ugly. We need to make adjustments in lighting and the camera settings. And I think I'm going to do that in the next video. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.